Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. This is Clay and Cindy today um, doing our garage sale haul. We went uh, to a local neighborhood sale yesterday and found some great stuff in a few hours. Um, a lot of it came from the free box, so that was pretty exciting. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and I have a booth at an antique store and we sell quite a bit both ways, so that's exciting. So we're going to show you what we got. I'm going to start off with a few things. And um, you guys who've been watching my channel for a while know that embroidery hoops are a surprising value sometimes. And um, these I found in a free box. And while most of them are just wooden hoops, not worth anything, there is one that's a felt lined hoop. And it's called the Felt Grip. I don't have to cut these apart yet, but, and put them together. Um, but yeah, so that one is a 10 to $15 embroidery hoop. The felt is in good condition, which is always a factor in those. Let me put those over there. But then at another sale, we found three additional embroidery hoops. These are not felt lined hoops. The, oh, this one is a felt lined hoop, which, and this is the Duchess brand, like a five inch hoop. So that's going to be a $20 value for that particular one. These two are Princess six inch hoops, not felt lined. So these are about $15 each. So that's good value for a $3 investment. You know, we're going to be getting probably 50 plus dollars out of those embroidery hoops. So that's what I found. Now Cindy's going to talk about some stuff she found, or at least one item. One of the, um, Somebody had a whole box of stuffed animals and I mean, it was a big box and it just said free for the taking. Well, I found Mr. Happy Feet and um, he is an actual Build-A-Bear Happy Feet. And so when we looked him up, they're what, 10 to 15? Yeah, he's around $15. $15 brand new. Sold. And so anyway, we are pretty excited. I think he's so soft and <laughs> <laughs> he might stay with me forever, or he might be a gift. I don't know, but this is Happy Feet in the free box. Yep. And then to to juxtaposition Mr. Happy Feet, don't fall down all the stuff. Mm. Cindy found this. It was actually in a tissue box. They had put it in a tissue box to protect it a little bit. But it's a, um, why am I drawing? A Anna Lee doll, happy birthday doll, with a birthday cake, but look at her face. Cindy, one of the first things Cindy says was, why is she yelling at the cake? <laughs> <laughs> he has this very angry Push face. face. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess maybe some of us feel that way as we turn older and celebrate more birthdays. We get angry at him, I guess. I don't really know. But we paid a dollar for Miss Anna Lee, and, and they're quite collectible. That's a 20 to $30 doll. So that's fun. Um... And another thing, our daughter played tennis and we dabbled in tennis, tennis and pickleball, but I saw this and fell in love with it for $2. It's a tennis rack of some sort. I assume, you know what, it's probably to hang your tennis rackets. There's enough space to hang your tennis mm -hmm. rackets on there. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, it looks like it was a handmade piece, but for $2, I'll Very take cute. it. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And then I'm going to, do the other big item here so I don't forget because I always seem to forget the big items. This was the first thing we bought. Mr. Ghost. Take the cord off. Yeah, it just adds dramatic that he's all <laughs> tangled in this cord. So we paid four dollars for Mr. S um, Snow. Mr. Ghost uh, blow mold with the green eyes. He's an, actually in excellent shape. There's a little discoloration here but I think it's just can be cleaned off. And uh, He's an Empire brand. Empire's a great brand of blow molds. So I'll put him down at the pink elephant because he's so large. And he's a $75 to $80 item. So pay $4 for him. So that was a great find. Mm -hmm. All right. Also in the free boxes, um, I found something that I didn't know existed. I, <laughs> my mom has been into Beanie Babies for years. But Beanie Baby has come out with what's called Thai Beanie Balls with B-A-L-L-Z. And this particular fish, ball, is called Rainbow, obviously. 
and it says you can bounce them, throw them, and catch them because they're kind of weighted at the bottom. And it says and they'll always land on their feet. So, um, and they're what ten to fifteen. Yeah. And so this was in the free box as well as this little twins dude, and he's also a beanie uh, ball. So anyway, I learned something that Ty has a new product out, and for some reason, somebody was done with theirs. And yeah. so we have two of them for gifts as well. So it's funny, all three of those plushes that she got out of the free box, you know, there's 30 to $45. So we're big advocates of looking through the free boxes because you never know what you're gonna find. Mm -hmm. um, another thing we found, Cindy found actually, were three jars full of jewelry, um, broken bits and bobs and they were a dollar each and i sell these down at the pink elephant for 10 or 15 to 20 dollars for a jar this size so and most of it i didn't have to do anything with but actually i did sort through all of these and pulled out some amazing finds um one of them was a earring that was a 14 karat gold earring a large earring not a small one so that definitely was a great score and there was a sterling silver earring in there as well so some good finds in the mix of all of that broken jewelry. And because Clay and I just got through going to the state fair, I hmm. found this puzzle. We're, we're puzzle freaks and I couldn't refuse. It just, yeah. Anyway, and they had gluten-free Pronto Pups at the state fair and gluten-free cheese curds. So we were very happy about that. So I don't yep. think these are on the gluten-free menu, but it still looks really amazing. For those who don't know what a Pronto Pup is, that's a corn dog. Oh, basically. Yeah. It's like this dude right here. Yeah. Pronto Pup is a, the name of the place that sells them around here. Yeah. And then the other puzzle, and again, they're like $2 each. The other one is a bunch of candy, and that just looked really good too. So we like to sit personally and put puzzles together evenings and watch TV and kind of sometimes our little date nights. Yeah. Of course, a lot of people did that over COVID. Um, and speaking of puzzles, I did, there were, we found multiple puzzles that were still brand new sealed. Um, there's this one for 50 cents, still sealed in this plastic, called The New Yorker, which is a magazine, of course. Mm -hmm. um, these are like 10 to $20, depends on the puzzle. Um, this one is a bouquet, it's called Bouquet and Birds. Sorry for the glare, it's getting kind of sunny out. Um, so that's a nice one. And then this one is a 2000 piece puzzle. And I thought, oh, that's going to be a good one. I think I paid a dollar for this. Um, still sealed, but it's only $15. Even for 2000 pieces, but that's okay. I, and I'll put those up a little later once, uh, winter comes. But then Cindy found this wonderful vintage puzzle. Look at that. And I forgot who Lee, that's right. Oh, Milton Bradley does too. Yeah, Milton Bradley's the company, but I meant the artist that did this type of thing. And there's another artist who's famous for the large-eyed children. Um, but yeah, just a great little puzzle. That'll be fun. I don't know if we'll keep this one. It's a 12 by 24. How many pieces? It doesn't say. I guess you got to put it together. Over and figure 400. It. Over 400. So they're just <laughs> guessing themselves. <laughs> So those were the puzzles, and then here's uh, what they call a dollar horse. These are um, very popular around here. I paid $4 for this one. This is a blue and white and yellow one. It does have some surface marks on it. I'll see if I can clean some of that off. But even in this condition, he's, we paid, it's, he's listed at $4, but we'll pay, um, sell him for probably around 20 to 25, depending. So yeah, so that was another good score. I have a nephew who's a huge Lego fan. So for a quarter, I got a brand new Lego set. Uh, it's a little cannon shooting at a scarecrow on a horse. And so <laughs> um, they run about $10, but for a quarter, I got a nice little brand new gift that hasn't been opened um, for Christmas. Yeah, it's a good one. Okay, now we're gonna get into, <laughs> mm -hmm. I always, Cindy and I always joke, but ugly, creepy, weird cells. So mm -hmm. this was in a free box. And ugly and creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like, like the old yellow smiley face. Looks like a popsicle. In purple, yeah. <laughs> or a lollipop. Or a badly designed Barney. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> when he says smile, oh he definitely makes you smile, oh. doesn't he? But it says all new material consisting of polystyrene and colored shredded paper byproducts. There's no no uh, manufacturer's name or anything, so I can't find anything on him, but I just think he's hilarious. <laughs> so he's awesome. And then another thing in the free box we found was a whole, there's a baggie half full of greeting cards. So we grabbed that and I just pulled out one. This is a vintage Snoopy card, probably from the, you know, late 70s, 80s. 65. Yeah, that's the copyright, but it's got the barcode on it, which started in 74. So we know it's after 74, but great little card. But then there were also postcards in there. There's a doll, a bear one, Minnesota one. But then this one was cool. It's a New Mexico. And it's one of the little fold out, Ooh. which is really a great piece. Beautiful graphics on there. Mm -hmm. Nice vintage postcard travel guy. So that's cool. And I found something else fun for my kitchen. I've never seen them before, but they are a type of measuring cup that they collapse and then they fit easier in your cupboards. And I've never seen such a thing, but it shows how they collapse and expand. Um, so anyway, it's a quarter and um, they're like $15 online. So I thought something would be fun to try and do some more space saving in my cupboards. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, I, there were so many sales, I couldn't begin to tell you what we got at what sales, but this one was, it's a paperweight, a glass paperweight. I paid $3 for it, which these, at, I sell down at the pink elephant for 15 to $20, depending on it. But this one's interesting because on the bottom it's marked MSH and then ASH and then, um, um, I'm drawing a blank on the name, but anyway, and MSH means Mount St. Helen ash. So he collected uh, ash from Mount St. Helens, incorporated it into the glass. That's why it's kind of a cloudy, it's not a clear glass. It's kind of a cloudy glass because of that ash and made paperweights out of them. And these are $20, $25 paperweight on eBay. So right in line for $3, great find. We'll do that. And then this was in the free box. Also, Cindy found this one. It's a, um, let me put it out in the package. It's a, it's a pin. Got the clip on the back. It's Taxco Mexico sterling silver little urn shaped um, pin. And they, in, in the plastic baggie, they even have the eBay listing that they copy that says it's, they were listed at $48. <laughs> so why did they put it in the free box? We have no idea, but we'll take it, you know, not a problem. <laughs> what else you got, honey bun? Somebody was selling blankets for a dollar. I wish there was more than just this one, but we love these warmer blankets uh, for our backpacks for the homeless. And so um, it's an absolutely gorgeous blanket, but I like it because it's, it's heavy, but yet it's very, it's very foldable. It's not bulky. So it fits in our backpacks real well. So I was very excited about that point. Yep. And if you're interested in our backpacks, but a homeless program, we do have a video on that in the DIY, um, section of our channel. So you can check that out if you'd like. Um, we walk through what we put in the backpacks and stuff like that and what we caution against. Um, I picked this up for a dollar. It's a cologne. It's a Jean Pato Moment Supreme is the name. And this bottle is almost full for a dollar. And this particular cologne is very popular apparently. So it's probably 50 to $75 we'd be able to get out of that one bottle, which is really cool. Uh, and here's the dangerous weapon, as Cindy calls them. Somebody's going to hurt themselves with that. You know, these are the old receipt holders that they used to have at the cash register. And I have sold every single one of these that I find. So I found one for a dollar. So that was good. And uh, so when somebody asks me to lend them a hand, I can give them this one in the future. <laughs> I picked this up for 50 cents. It's a modern piece, but I, 
I picked it up for display down at the Pink Elephant, or even I might, it's something I could use to, uh, for listing rings on eBay, I could take photographs with it too, but I think I'll take it down to the Pink Elephant first, and, I, and I'll have it for sale down there as well, um, but for 50 cents, I couldn't pass that up. What else you got, hon? I found a fun toy. <laughs> Our son in love is um, loves guitars, and so for whatever reason, you can just push different things on it and have a have a blast. You can have your breaks during uh, work hours at your desk and just strum away. So we just thought it was a blast. So anyway, we picked this up for him. And it's hilarious because it's kind of like motion detected in some way because as mm -hmm. we're driving around, it kept going off in the car. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was so funny. A um, couple other things we found. We found this beaded um, collar. It was made in Japan. <laughs> and he does have a label on him. Handmade, a top hit fashion bar and beards incorporated Japan. And this is a $10 collar. There's a number of these listed on eBay, but... We paid a dollar for that. Picked up this vintage troll. This is a DAM troll. Um, he was made in Denmark, so he's one of the older ones with the little felt outfit, green hair. Some of these older ones can be worth quite a bit of money, but not this particular one, but still worth some money. And then at the this was at the first sale we went to. This is a baseball from the 1988 Seoul Olympics. So it's got the, it's a souvenir piece, but it's got the baseball and the stand. And for 50 cents, I definitely thought I would uh, grab it. So and it's got a little, I assume that was the sole mascot back in the day. Mm -hmm. The big S. So that was there. And then they also had this mug. It's a twins mug. Is that a twins mug? Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't see twins on it, but it's from 1971. It's one of the thermoserve mugs. So for a quarter, we picked that one up too, so. All right, you got anything else on? Uh, a lot of you might not know this about me, but I'm all naturalistic. And so I love these Himalayan lamps. By plugging them in, they light up as a nightlight. But as the uh, salt rock gets hot, it um, puts ions in the air and it purifies your air. And so I love picking these up um, when I see them at sales. And this one also came with a dimmer switch on it. So um, this one's about probably a $15 to $20 one, but certain Himalayan lamps can go for over hundreds of dollars depending on the color and the shape of them. But um, so I picked, I already have one, but this would make a nice gift for someone as well. Sweet. Because I paid $2 for this one. <laughs> Fun. And then I picked up this. This is one of these hand staplers. Um, these are very handy when I'm shipping stuff, you know, to staple things shut. So, and I like this kind because it's easier to use than the desktops. And then um, I found this book. It's a vintage college accounting book from the 1930s. This is part mm -hmm. one. Look at how thin it is. <laughs> now today's book is, it'll be 10 times that thickness. For, uh, accounting part one so it tells you how it's changed a lot but I was in the accounting world for a long time so and here's what I love is there's your ledger uh, forget the computer you had to write down everything you <laughs> sold by hand mm -hmm. I love, it. love it love it love it so um did you want to show the photo album honey? we found this photo album it was for three dollars and it had a bunch of old photos in it as well So this is the, the book with the clasp on it and stuff. And inside it's it's pretty rough, but um, yep. just to give you an idea, you know, the old fashioned type and it's got the the gold, gilded gold borders and stuff. But um, what we rough. found inside was really amazing. And um, this is why I got it. Clay and I have always been like, oh, whose lost relatives are these and stuff. And um, <laughs> And, but we always know that with old pictures, it's like so rare that you can find an old picture that somebody is smiling. 
and case in point, <laughs> these two little babies. One was petrified and one, one was <laughs> crying. But and the the parents still pay for these pictures to be um <laughs> to be uh, taken and all. And um, so we have lots of of baby pictures. It's a really I think this was a really expensive wedding. And these are all done by a Minneapolis photographer, so it's kind of yeah. cool. But look at these um the fanciness to uh, her dress and his long coat and. Um, I just, I love old pictures for just the style. Mm -hmm. And um, one last one I want to show you was this lady with, um, look at all of her buttons. If you can see, I mean, they're big ones, little ones, all up and down her dress. And um, anyway, I just, I love the style of clothing and fashion you can get out of these. But we counted, there's, what did we say, 21 or 31 uh, old photos that we got out of this book. Would you pay yep. three bucks for the book? Three bucks for the whole book. So, and these photos sell for anywhere from one to three dollars each. So, mm -hmm. you know, it depends on the photo. And so, those are really fun stuff. to look at. But, but yeah, so that was a good good find. And then at another um, puzzle, at another garage sale, we found this puzzle box. It's a wooden box, it's a puzzle box. So, you have to know the secret to getting it open and finding the secret drawer which I know the secret now. See, there's a little secret drawer in here. You can keep your very important items. <laughs> so yeah, so that was really cool. I really like that one. And then there's a surprising find. This I know we got these at the first garage sale we went to, and I saw these. They're Ovaltine containers from the 1930s. There were two of them, and I, and I happened to look them up, and these are, um, so for what was it like sixty to eighty dollars each? I couldn't believe that, and I paid a dollar each for them. So I'm not sure why, but old Ovaltine old canteens people like, I guess. I just noticed this. It says on the back of it, "To doctors and dietitians." Ah. So it's a note to doctors about how healthy Ovaltine can be for you. Don't we wish those were still on Ouch. today's products? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's the early early labeling system, I guess. Before it was mandated, everything had to have label on it. They were telling you how healthy it was. Good catch. And then again, at the first sale, we found these two mugs, a golf mug and a tennis mug for a quarter each. And then I also found this um, hand-painted Santa Claus egg. And it is signed on the bottom, but it's just with initials. And then there was also, can you hold that? Thank you. This Santa, which looks like an Anna Lee Santa, similar kind of hand-painted face, but I don't believe it is. This one has the initials KS on the bottom of the Santa head. So Santa lost his head somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. And then also at that sale, a couple more blow molds. We found these little bunny blow molds. Mm -hmm. um, we got the, both of them for 50 cents. And... Uh, yeah, they're like, you know, little candy dish <laughs> things. And so these are like 10 to $15 each. So another great score on the blow molds. Not sure why they're so popular, but they are. Then at another sale, I saw this men's box of men's accessories, cufflinks, tie clasps, etc. And so I bought the whole thing for $10. Number one, the case is awesome. And some of you know I love old cars, and I just happened to have an old car on the front of it, which I didn't even know was on there until we got home. Um, but this was my favorite tie clip. It's got clip two. It's got this great Asian scene on it. It's really cool. So just a fun hodgepodge of different things. It's got the collar um, supports in it as well, which is really cool. And then there were these, which are kind of the most beautiful ones. Abalone, I believe, on these cufflinks. So, good stuff. I collect these, so I'll probably hold on to most of these. And then, is that about... Oh, oh, no, 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 how could I forget? Again, in the free box, several other things here. Let me hold that so I don't forget that one. Um, this one garage sale had tons of wonderful free boxes 
And so I picked up some vintage hankies. This is a kind of an English style with the Cheshire dogs and stuff. But this is a Pat Roberts designer hanky in the 20 to 25 dollar range. This is another one, Pat Roberts, same guy. This one still has the original mm -hmm. label on the corner. Mm -hmm. So I don't believe any of these were used, at least these first three. This is also a Pat Roberts. Mm -hmm. Yep, beautiful, purple and pinkish. And then this one doesn't isn't signed. I do believe it was used. This one is a silk one. And it's got a little fading to it, but it's like women's fashions through the decades, actually through the centuries, mm -hmm. which is really kind of cool. It goes from Roman times, I think even pre-Roman times. So some beautiful hanky. So there's probably 75 to $100 sitting in the free box. That's amazing to me. Oh, <laughs> and then there were some vintage children's blocks. Four of them. Mm -hmm. Yep, four of those. And then I pick up, there are a bunch of empty jewelry boxes, which I use when I ship and sell jewelry. But there was this plastic bin in there. And here's what's interesting. It's called a curler hamper. <laughs> so, which is really cool. Um, and there are some, a couple of these listed on eBay. They're 20 to $25 on eBay. Although this one is broken along the edge, which is kind of to be expected with this thin railing and you know everybody grabs it by the railing like I did when I first got it um but yeah so that was a fun find and then your turn my mom is really into uh frogs and somebody went and made a homemade frog blanket nice and big and thick so she can uh, keep warm with it in the winter time so I can't wait to uh give this to her and um this was two dollars. Cool. And then we found this other small uh, photo album, Victorian photo album. This one didn't have any pictures in it. Um, and it's kind of in rough shape too. The spine is broken off of it. Um, but it used to have some even uh, jeweled items on it. Obviously not real jewels, but still what a fun, fun item. This was in the free box. This is a refrigerator freezer uh, thermometer. So it's got the little hook so you can either hang it or have it sitting on the base. And this is a $20 item in the free box. Can't beat that. Then I, almost, we're almost done. So I found a couple vintage infant outfits. This one is a knitted, a knitted outfit by McKem, a six month outfit. But I love this one, look at the, Look at the little bunny on it. Look at the little creature. I don't know exactly what that one is. It's a fox or a mouse or a and dog. It's so interesting because it's <laughs> lined with plastic to help with diaper leaks because yep. they just used um, cloth diapers back then. So that plastic is sewn right into the actual outfit. I was like, oh, how practical. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And it's in great shape. No stains or anything on it. So, oh, I guess there is there right on the front. But yeah. That is just so cute. So we found that. All right. And then also in this free box, we found um, two brand new 31 bags and they're uh, snap-on pockets. And they're really handy for like my mom's uh, walker and they snap on the different areas. And so people in wheelchairs or walkers, these are really great. So um, they're about $15 each, so it's like $30 of product, and um, we're fine on using them as gifts. Cool. So literally, we found hundreds of dollars in free boxes. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, I mean, for personal use as well as for resale, which, how can you beat that? That's just amazing to me. Um, and then the last item I'm gonna show is this. This was in the free box. <laughs> yeah, it needs a little tightening. Um, but it's a light, a vintage light. You just put your light bulb in there. It's a reflective surface. It's a mirror, but it's more of a copper gold tone and it's a wooden frame and it is marked on the back by the manufacturer, but you can't really read it. I've been struggling to try to figure out what it says, but I can't because it's not a very deep mark and stuff, but I thought, you know, that's quite the light right there. Look great in a 
Mediterranean style home or, you know, even a much older home, medieval style home or whatever. I was thinking haunted house. Yeah, or haunted house. <laughs> that works too. See? Exactly. Or black light and iron. Away you go. Yeah. Yeah. That would work well. That's our amazing uh, garage sale haul. Thanks for joining us, guys.